so hi children in this video we are going to discuss about the problems from worksheet 1 okay let us see the problems so x plus the first one x plus 2023 is equals to 2023 what is that given condition x plus 2023 is equal to 2023 so what is the value of x here you can observe in two directions so that is if you add 0 to that given number then only you will get the number itself we will discuss about that identity in that properties numbers ok so x plus something is there no so we can write this one as x is equals to 2023 plus 2023 become as a minus 2023 also no so x is equals to 2023 minus 2023 that is equals to 0 so x is equals to what is that value here 0 so once observe that the condition what they given in that question that is x should be belongs to natural number which means the value of x should be belongs to natural number so in that natural number 0 is there in the natural number we can observe that 0 0 is not there in natural number no 0 is a whole number so that's why this is not possible okay that's why here answer is it does not exist okay does not exist is there any chance to get that if you add something to 2023 is it possible to get the same number again it is not possible the only possible thing is if you add 0 to that same number then only you will get the number itself okay that the result is the number itself other than is there any other possibility 2023 plus 0 that is the possibility but here x should be a natural number they are saying okay 0 is a whole number that's why this is not possible okay and come to this one 1 plus something 1 plus 2023 which is equals to 2024 but here the resultant is 2023 okay that's why this is also not possible okay come to this one here c is a minus 1 okay so c minus 1 minus 1 plus 2023 which is equals to 2022 okay but here the resultant is a 2023 okay that's why here this is also not possible okay so which one is correct answer here that is that does not exist okay in your examination just you have to check that actually here zero is that answer but here that condition you have to observe okay here the condition is natural numbers in whole numbers only that is possible okay let us see that next problem so come to this one here x plus 2024 x plus 2024 which is equals to 2024 again same problem like the previous one okay something if you add to 2024 again the resultant is 2024 so which number you have to add yes simply that is zero okay but what i told you that here you have to check that condition what is the condition that is x belongs to whole number x belongs to whole number x belongs to w is zero is a whole number or not yes zero is a whole number that's why here one option zero is that is uh, possible or not yes so here x is equals to 2024 minus 2024 you will get that resultant as x is equals to 0 belongs to whole number so this is that correct option okay if you keep that 0 sorry if you keep that 1 1 plus 2024 you will get that 2025 but the resultant is 2024 and minus 1 minus 1 means 2023 you will get okay but here the resultant is that the number itself no does not exist why that is does not exist in previous they asked natural numbers that's why that is not exist but here the resultant is uh, uh, that is related to whole number they are asking no that's why that is exist so this is also not correct answer so which is that correct answer here that is zero okay we will see that next one okay the successor of 2023 in natural numbers and i told you that when i am explaining that natural numbers in that natural numbers each and every number in natural number which means every natural number is having its successor okay but only one of that and all the numbers are having that predecessor also but only one of that natural number not having predecessor what is that number 
yes that is one one is not having predecessor i am not about saying about the successor one is not having predecessor in natural numbers and the leftover remaining all numbers are having that predecessors and in the same way one is having a successor or not yes each and every natural number are having successors so what is that successor if you add one to that if you add one to that given number then you will get its successor so 2024 that is that answer so which option is correct option a is correct here you have to observe that they are asking successor or predecessor okay so next one predecessor of 2024 in the natural numbers predecessor of 2024 they are not asking about the predecessor of one okay predecessor of 2024 so 2024 predecessor means subtract one from that given number then you will get that 2023 as the resultant okay so 2023 is that answer is there answer here answer not there so that is none of these answer is none of these does not exist they are asking here does not exist means zero if you will get that the predecessor of one they will ask in natural numbers in that cases predecessor is does not exist okay but here answer is 2023 that option not given in that options no the answer not given okay that's why answer is none of these okay Next one, predecessor of 1 in whole numbers, a predecessor of 1. So, 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, the predecessor of 1 is 0. Okay, now here we have to say that which type of number they are asking. In whole numbers, they mentioned that whole numbers. 0 is a whole number only, no? So, 0 belongs to whole number. That's why here answer is 0. So, predecessor of 1 is 0 in that whole numbers. In that whole numbers only predecessor, of, I mean in that whole numbers, the predecessor of 1 is exist. And integers also it may exist, no? So, that's why here in that natural numbers only the predecessor of 1 does not exist. In that remaining all types of numbers, the predecessor of 1 exist. Okay. So, the next question is the number of two digit prime numbers, the number of two digit prime numbers, prime numbers less than 20, sorry, prime numbers less than 100. Okay, less than 100, how many prime numbers are there? Do you know that? Yes, 25 prime numbers are there. okay numbers uh, prime numbers which are less than 100 how many prime numbers are there means uh, 25 prime numbers are there if you have doubt then you can check that by using that uh, save of arithmetic process you will get that all the prime numbers okay i told you one of the method no so by using that method once check that okay you will get that 25 prime numbers are not less than 100 okay so now what they are asking the number of two digit prime numbers so number of two digit prime numbers means why i taken here 100 100 is a three digit number so before that 100 you will get that 99 so the greatest two digit number is 99 smallest two digit number is 10 only no so the numbers which are from 10 to 99 how many prime numbers are there that is the meaning of that question okay so here 25 in all I am saying prime numbers less than 1 to 100 means 1 to 100 less than 100 means 1 to 100 how many prime numbers are there means 25 prime numbers are there okay so in that 1 to 100 we can see that a single digit prime numbers two digit prime numbers okay three digit prime numbers will not enter into this group right so here we can observe that one digit prime numbers two digit prime numbers so one digit prime numbers how many numbers are there those are two three five seven two three five seven are that one digit prime numbers one digit prime numbers okay 
2, 3, 5, 7. How many one digit single digit prime numbers are there? 4 single digit prime numbers are there. In this 25, included single digit prime numbers and 2 digit prime numbers are also there. No? So, 25 minus 4 is equal to 21 2 digit prime numbers are there. 2 digit prime numbers are there. Two digit prime numbers are there. Okay. So here how many two digit prime numbers are there? 21 two digit prime numbers are there. Okay. Next. The next one. The sum of least positive integer and biggest negative integer. So least positive integer. Least positive integer is plus 1. One is the smallest integer, no? So, least is nothing but the smallest positive integer means the smallest natural number. That is 1. And the greatest, biggest is nothing but greatest, no? So, greatest, which integer? Negative integer. Greatest negative integer is what? Minus 1. Okay? Greatest negative integer is minus 1. Smallest negative integer is not defined. And smallest positive integer is 1. And here greatest positive integer is not defined. Already we discussed about this one, right? So here the sum of, if you add these two, what is the resultant? 1 plus of minus 1. Plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So the resultant is 0. So answer is 0. Okay? So next one. Here, the period of 0 point, which number they given here? 0 point 101, next two zeros 1, next three zeros 1, next four zeros, okay, and so on. What they are asking? Period. Period means what I told you that? In the decimal part, which number is in repetition? That is called a period. Which number is in repetition? So, once observe that in the de decimal part, in the given number, in the decimal part, if you can observe that any repetition numbers, 0 is in repetition. Shall we take like that? Here 0, 0, 0 and so on. Is it possible to take? No. Okay. Why? Because 0 after 1 digit is there. That is 1. 1 0 1 next 0 0 again you are getting 1 again 0 0 0 again you are getting 1 okay so here which number is in repetition means the same digit should be in a repetition without allowing any other digit in its middle okay the same number is in repetition okay so here we can say that 0 0.10000 like that is there means this is a recurring decimal that is the recurring decimal. But this is non-recurring decimal this is. Okay. Why? Because in between that these two here we can observe that one. Here one. Here one. So again after means again one. Next to five zeros you will get here. Just observe that. One zero, two zeros, three zeros, four zeros, five zeros. Again one. Next to six zeros like that. Okay. So here number is in not repetition. Just in, uh, after every one. Okay, here we can observe that a number of zeros are in increasing order. Okay, after every the digit 1, here we can observe that a number of zero is, zeros are in increasing order. Okay, so here this is a non-recurring. Non-recurring decimal. Non-terminating, non-recurring decimal that is. Okay, that's why here, if that is the given decimal, that is a terminal and in the same way recurring decimal, then only we can say that period and periodicity, but this is a non-recurring, that's why here period does not exist. Period does not exist. Okay, next question says that the periodicity of 28281457, okay. Why I am reading that 2828 like that? Because the decimal part always you have to learn without using the place values. Okay, we know that reason, right? So, 1.2828457. And observe that bar symbol carefully. That bar symbol given on that numbers from the second 28 onwards. First one 28, next one 281457. 
So what is the meaning of this one? Here the meaning of this number is 1.28 281457 Again 281457 Next 281457 Which means 28 is constant here First 28, 28 that is constant Next 281457 281457 281457 is in repetition is in repetition so that's why here they kept that bar symbol on that 281457 here 28 is a constant 28 first 28 is not in repetition okay that is the meaning of that bar symbol in that given question now here what they are asking the periodicity periodicity means a number of digits lying under the bar symbol Number of digits lying under that bar symbol. So under that bar symbol, how many digits are there? 281457. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 digits are there under that bar symbol. Okay, so how many digits are there? 6 digits are there. So what is the periodicity? Periodicity means a number of digits lying under that bar symbol or number of digits are in repetition is called a periodicity okay so what is that answer that is six okay clear okay next question say that here something is missed that is a pi okay in your material you can observe that pi that is tenth question pi is called a dash number pi is called simply rational number whole number integer irrational number so which number that is pi is an irrational number pi is an irrational number always okay okay next question here that question is not visible okay here question is there that is not visible that question is i power 20 24 in that screen maybe that is not visible the question is i power 20 24 is equal to dash okay this is the given question so already we proven this one in the at the time of uh, uh, synopsis right so once again see that i power 20 24 what i told you that in that power vision number is there that number first we have to observe that that given number is divided by 4 or not so 20 24 divided by 4 4 5 20 0 and 6 so 20 24 you will get here a 0 as the reminder okay so again 4 into 5 not 6 is equals to 20 24 you will get no so how we can express this 4 into sorry 4 into 5 not 6 4 into 5 not 6 we can observe this is in the form of i power 4n so i power 4n value is always equals to 1 is always equals to 1 and this theory also i told you in at the time of uh, theory part okay if anybody missed that uh, video then once again go back to that video and once observe that how to find these values if you learn if you heard that concept then only you can understand how i got here one okay if you missed that video once again go back to that video and observe that okay so here answer is equals to one option a okay 